Have you ever been in Microsoft Project and you've noticed on the left hand side the name of the view you're in? Do you know what happens if you right click on that? In this video I'll show you. Okay, so here I am in Microsoft Project and if I were, for example, to want to switch to my resource sheet, I would normally go up to my task tab, I would normally go to the view group and then I would drop down the Gantt chart option here. And when I drop that down, I can see the list of options that I might want to choose from. And if they're not there by default, I might automatically have to come down to more views and click on that as well. But as it is, it's here for me, resource sheet. So I can click on that. And if I want to go back to Gantt chart, I click on Gantt chart. But did you know that if you right click on the name here, then you get a sub menu of the typical views that you might want to use. And right away, there's my resource sheet. I haven't had to go up to my task tab, to my view group or to my Gantt chart drop down. It's just there for me. And if I want to go to calendar, I can right click again. I can go up to calendar and it changes to calendar. Now, I know I can just click on Gantt chart up here, but uh, equally with this method, if I right click on that bar, which contains the name, then I can click on Gantt chart. So that's right clicking on the name of the view that you're looking at to bring up an option to change views for you. Well, now we know what happens if we right click on the name of the view that we're looking at. If you want more hints and tips on using Microsoft Project, then do please connect with me on my social channels. Or if you're interested in more formal classroom style training on Microsoft Project, then my contact details are on screen as well. Until the next time, bye bye.